So hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play. This one is Murloc RPG, Stranglethorn Fever, which is like the first episode of it, I guess. So this was an RPG that was made way back in the day. I don't even know how old this one is. This is one of like really old one. It came out like during World of Warcraft Classic or something, it's that old. And I played through this game like four times or something throughout the years. I think like every year I played through this game. I don't know, I really like it. So this is just as the name might take clue you in an RPG about a murloc. If you don't know what a murloc is, it's basically this amphibian thing that you see in front of you right now from the Warcraft universe and. This is obviously not an official game, this is just a fan game that was made using a lot of the like icons, graphics, pretty much everything, all the assets in here are ripped straight from World of Warcraft. So obviously when it comes to like copyright and stuff like that, we might need to like... I don't know, just turn, turn the other way a bit. Like, hopefully Blizzard... Apparently Blizzard didn't care too much about this. Because this game still exists. Uh, there has been... There's a second part to this. That also still exists. However, there's... The second part says something like, Mark RPG 2, Episode 1. But there's no Episode 2. So, I don't know exactly what happened. Maybe there was some parts with copyright. But then again, if there was anything with copyright, then wouldn't it be? Wouldn't they have said like, "Oh, you have to delete the game or something, take take the game down, something like that"? Yeah, but there was nothing like that. The game is still up, so I don't think it was quite a copyright issue. So I guess maybe he kind of got bored, or maybe that if he kept going on like that then maybe at some point in the future he'd get trouble with copyright but uh, now nah, we don't we really, we really don't know so the start of this game is really simple really simple actually you just um, sure just run around like this and kill 10 wolves because you need like 10 meat and one wolf about gives like one meat Pretty much something like that. So you have health, you have energy. If you know a lot about World of Warcraft, then it should be very obvious that a lot of these things are not 100% true to World of Warcraft. Like there's a lot of stuff that's not really that, it's a bit awkward. Like you have here your talent system where you get one point each level. And it's a really, really basic talent system that doesn't have too much to do with World of Warcraft. Actually, apart from the fact that a lot of these things are named something from World of Warcraft and have the icon for it, they really have nothing to do with World of Warcraft. You have like Mark of the Wild, which increases armor, you have some basic healing, a shield, you can polymorph your enemy into a sheep, you can deal damage, sap energy, free them a bit, get more health, this is really nice for late game, uh, get an immense, like do some fire damage, which is really bad because it takes me rounds to cast, and if you build this, you do that much damage in like one or two turns, so whatever. Then you get your basic um, melee attack stuff right here. And silence enemies, which is gonna be important later. Charges is really nice to start stuff, uh, to start fights off with, and then some passives, because why not? So, just really basic stuff, there's nothing too special. Now, Merc the, Mur the Murloc, the guy we were playing, sadly we can't choose our name. Uh, it's like the one bad part of this game is what actually how did I start that sentence? Oh yeah, the one thing is we're using energy, and even if we're a mage uh, or right now we're playing like a warrior, we're still using energy. So you know what? What if you use either mana, you use rage, or stuff like that? But right now we're we're only using energy in this game. And I think the way energy works, I'm not actually 100% sure how energy works. I'm not actually sure if you can get just energy passively or if you actually have to be outside of combat to get energy. I don't actually remember, but we'll figure it out as we play along. 
So yeah, once again, the start very simple. I guess I can talk more about. I guess the start start is really nice to just talk a lot about the game itself. So story-wise, nothing too much to worry about right now. It's just some Murloc in Elwyn Forest, which is like this. Um, Forest where the humans go and have a grand all time because that's where they start the quest in World of Warcraft. And the Elven Forest has a bunch of really basic enemies like wolves, kobolds, and murlocs, obviously. So that's also something you're gonna be seeing. You're gonna be seeing goblins. Uh, not uh, goblins? Well, yeah, there are goblins, but uh, kobolds as well. So enemies in this game have, I'm not sure, I don't think the level is random, They're, the enemy level is somewhere around your level, like plus minus one or something or two. And also the loot that you're getting is, I think, mostly true. Uh, I don't mean the loot, uh, the, the drops of the loot, I mean rather the stats on the loot, like every single buckler you're going to be picking up will have 12 armor. Because this one, this is like this is a worn wooden shield. The other thing that I had it was like the battered buckler, so there's no randomness in that. But obviously, there's many, many different items for you to get. This is all. Are we almost done? Okay, so we're almost done with the like tutorial. So yeah, this is also, I guess, what this whole thing is about. It's like a little tutorial for you to like, get used to the combat system. Also, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of grinding in between parts because this game does have quite a few leaps where you're gonna be going somewhere where you're not quite powerful enough to do it. But I'm gonna be trying to not get into those situations by grinding in between so I can just cut from quest to quest to quest without having to worry about having to grind on screen. Now we can go a little bit more about the actual like NPCs that are in this camp. So we've gotten some items, we've gotten some loot. And he's gonna cook some stuff and he's gonna need some mild spices. And we're gonna get them from the goblin we've seen earlier. And most importantly right now while we're here we're gonna try and get a better weapon. And I think I want to buy any of that. I'm not sure because the thing is, obviously the start of the game is doesn't really have that much power, not many powerful enemies, and you get a lot of drops from enemies as well. So right now I don't think I need to buy a lot of stuff. I just need to make sure I have enough to buy the spices from the goblin. By the way, in case you're wondering what my personal connection is to World of Warcraft, I've been playing since the end of Classic. I seen the last patch of classic and that's about it so I didn't actually get to do that much. Oh yeah, I, for I, for I forgot there's actually a boss fight here. Maybe I should have actually gotten some. But it's okay, we just win. Maybe I can show you what happens when you die because I think I'll die because I, I, because I don't have the level stuff for it. It was really awkward because it doesn't do anything because it just gets another turn afterwards. Like, he fears and then attacks, but the thing is, he could just attack and they would be exactly the same outcome. Oh yeah, he just crit me, I think I'll die now because he crit me. Unless I get a good pummel. I'm not actually 100% sure what happens when you die. Oh, I forgot I don't have enough energy. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I see kids low low. Nope. So if you die, actually it's good to show you what happens when you die. Friendly spirit brings you back to life. Actually, I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more grinding to like level 7 or something, and I'll see you guys next time.